Hi, I am Dr. Dipendra Vikram Singh. I am medical director of retinal services at IQ Super Specialty Eye Hospitals, and I am doing vitreoretinal surgery for past 17 years. Vitreoretinal surgery is done mainly for three main conditions. One is diabetic retinopathy. Second is macular disorders like macular holes and macular membranes, and third is retinal detachment. Now, diabetes, as you all know, that it leads to problems in the blood vessels of retina. And because of that, uh, there is lack of blood supply and new blood vessels, they start proliferating out of retina because of uh, the poor blood supply in retina. So these new blood vessels are abnormal and fragile. They keep on leaking blood and when they start contracting, they try to pull the retina. And it's the pulling part which is most dangerous for these patients. So in surgery, what we do is we remove the jelly, we remove the blood and then we uh, cut this pulling so that we can relieve the retina. And after that, we do a lot of laser. And this is how we save these diabetic patients from blindness. Now, this surgery has become very refined because now we have small gauge instruments, 25 and 27 gauge instruments. Because of them, we have a very uh, safer, uh, we have a much better tissue handling now. And also we are now doing surgery much, fa much faster as compared to what we used to do earlier. And this has allowed us to give a rapid healing to our patients. Their recovery time has shortened and naturally results have also become better. The second condition for which we do vitreoretinal surgery is macular hole and ma macular epiretinal membranes. For these patients also we use small gauge instruments and again the recovery is very fast for these patients also because of these newer faster and small gauge instruments. Here what we do is we again remove the jelly inside the eye and then we peel a membrane over the retina and uh, then we inject a gas bubble and normally these patients will need around three to four weeks of recovery time and that is the time we expect them to be with us when they come for this kind of surgery. The third condition for which uh, we do vitreoretinal surgery is retinal detachment. This happens due to formation of a hole in the retina. Through this hole, fluid goes behind the retina and detaches the retina. So the person becomes blind in just in a very short period of time. And that is very dramatic and they have to rush for treatment as early as possible. Surgery again is done with same uh, fine gauge instruments and we fix up the retina with laser and then put a gas or silicon oil bubble. Again recovery time is four to six weeks. Most of these patients are now doing quite well after surgery. But one thing I like to add for all retinal surgeries and retinal diseases that Retina is part of our nervous system. All of you must be knowing that uh, nervous system does not regenerate. So that is why timely treatment and prompt surgical attention is important for all these diseases. Uh, if we can manage that, then results are quite good now. Uh, whenever you are planning to come to India for a retinal surgery, you should spare around four to six weeks time. And if we put a gas bubble in your eye, then it, this can be even longer, six to eight weeks and you are not allowed to fly if you have a gas bubble in the eye and normally it takes four to six weeks for gas bubble to disappear. So this is again a very important thing which all travelers should know.